everyone, Sherlock Phantom 1 here, and today we're back with another anime review. And this one I'm pretty excited to talk about. Today's video is about the 2019 film Ride Your Wave. A story about a young college girl named Hinako who loves surfing and upon moving back to her childhood town runs into a young firefighter named Minato, a boy who is driven to work hard and learn. As the two grow to know each other, a romance and unbreakable bond forms until a tragic event causes the lover's journey to end. A now grieving and unsure of her once given path, Hinako is desperate to regain her love and old life and soon finds a possible chance to when she sees the ghost of her deceased boyfriend. Okay, so what did I like about this movie? Well, first off, the animation and colors are amazing. I would even say it's better than words bubble up like soda pop. The tone of this movie is also very cute and heartwarming, and the story is not afraid to get serious, which is a surprise for me because handling a story of tragedy can be a hard balance if the characters are hard to empathize with. And I won't go as far to say Hinako was amazing, but I really felt the portrayal of grief and confusion was well represented here. Not to mention, let's talk about the food. Anime food is always so appetizing and looks so cool. And this movie definitely keeps that tradition going. I also would like to give this movie props for at least trying to make it seem like the lovers had time to develop a relationship. The quick friends to lovers trope that often happens in anime is one of the biggest annoyances of mine, mainly because it just seems unrealistic or forced. And I know, I know, this complaint about realness coming from a movie where the main character is carrying her deceased boyfriend's ghost around in a water bottle, but you know what I mean. Now, as far as the cons, this movie struggles with pacing at times. I felt like the storylines would often switch too quickly or that we'd go from one point to another without any real warning. And although the music was very catchy, I can only really remember the one major song, Hinako sings in order to make her boyfriend's ghost appear. I also was not a huge fan of Minato's sister, Yuniko. She just seemed very negative and unnecessarily annoying at times. But all in all, this movie is a beautifully animated story that has an interesting take on the ways of dealing with and coming to terms with grief. I would highly recommend, if you have not seen it yet, to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and stay awesome, guys. Starships,